Hello guys, Dandifying here. I haven't made a video quite like this in some time, but given the circumstances, I figured it was appropriate. Now, I do realize that it's been some time since I've uploaded a video, and I wanted to take the time today to explain what's been going on with me for the past couple of weeks. As most of you know, I've been quite sick. I've had COVID. It was the first time I've had COVID and it was rough to say the least. So I've had COVID for two weeks now. I'm pretty much over it, but I'm still a bit congested. My throat is still super dry and it's a bit hoarse, so I still sound kind of funny. And my energy isn't quite back yet, but as the days go by, I do get better and better and better. So you can expect uploads to resume pretty soon. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to change my schedule, but we'll see what happens soon. So what happened? A few weeks ago, I believe on a Monday night, I started presenting with COVID symptoms. It wasn't that bad, actually. I only had like a sore throat and a bit of congestion and I was a bit tired and that was it. It was only a few days later, things escalated. So it was Thursday night, Friday morning, my symptoms started getting quite bad. I started getting some really, really intense muscle pain and joint pain. And on top of that, I was getting some really, really bad chest pain and it was getting really hard to breathe. And I was really short of breath and I was just in so much pain. So I called my GP to let them know what was going on with me and that I had COVID and I had chest pain and they essentially told me to go to the hospital, which was a bit scary. Um, I ended up going to the public hospital. Manny was nice enough to drive me there. So thank you, Manny. And I told them everything that was going on with me that I was COVID positive and I had some really, really bad chest pain and my GP told me to come in and the doctors and the nurses were actually quite good to me. They took me really, really seriously. And they did lots of tests because they were a bit concerned. So what did they do? They did some blood tests. They did a chest x-ray and they did a couple of ECGs. And for the most part, I thought, oh, they'll probably just maybe give me some pain medication and they'll send me home. But no, they didn't. So after they did all their tests and looked at the results, they decided, or well, they approached me and they said, you know what? I think it would be for the best if you stayed overnight in hospital for observation because we're a bit worried about your heart. And they were explaining to me that they believe I may have developed something called pericarditis. Now, if you don't know what that is, essentially um, it's when the outer lining of your heart becomes inflamed. So that's what they thought was going on with me and they just wanted to keep an eye on it, which is why I ended up spending Friday night in hospital. So that was an interesting experience you could say so once they took me up to my room they put me in isolation obviously and they hooked me up to an ECG monitor just so they could keep an eye on my heart like 24 7 in case anything bad happened and they gave me what did they give me? They gave me plenty of pain, pain medication. They gave me anti-inflammatories. They started me on antiviral meds. So it did get a bit intense. That being said, though, I am super grateful 
that they took me so seriously and that they were so proactive with me like getting into hospital and getting checked and doing all these tests because as you know I do have psoriatic arthritis and I am immune compromised so they did take it very very seriously so even though it was a bit scary I do appreciate everything that they did so that night oh that night was really rough so I actually ended up uh, throwing up quite a bit that night. I think I threw up three times in the middle of the night. And the nurses are like going in and out of my room, like trying to get my nausea under control. I think maybe I was feeling extra sick because I, I was given medication on an empty stomach. I think maybe that's why I was throwing up a lot. But yeah, the poor nurses like had to keep coming in and out of my room trying to get the nausea under control but luckily um after a bit of food I stopped throwing up <laughs> which is good um what else so Saturday morning um they kept you know doing all their tests like they would check on me regularly like doing blood tests and um what do you call it checking my blood pressure and all that and by Saturday afternoon they said it was okay for me to go home which was awesome so um, I kept taking the antiviral meds that they gave me and they recommended oh you can take this medication when you go home and you know make sure you tell your GP what happened and tell your rheumatologist what happened and in a week or two we'll have you come back in for more tests so I think it's not for a while now. Um, it'll be in a few weeks. I'll come in for an echocardiogram as well. It's basically just an ultrasound on your heart just to make sure everything looks fine. So yeah, that was that was my that was my um, ordeal, my COVID ordeal. I'm doing much better. So I said that as the days go by, I get better and better each day so I'm hopeful everything will hopefully clear up in the next week or so. I finished up all my antiviral meds which by the way taste really really bad. I don't know why but the antiviral meds they taste like metal. <laughs> it's kind of gross so I'm glad that I finished those up and I don't have to worry about them. Um, I don't need to be on pain medication anymore which is great. So yeah, now it's just a bit of a waiting game until I get all my energy back. And yeah, as I said, I just have to go back in for another test and I should be okay. There's a bird being super loud outside. Hopefully it's not being picked up by the microphone. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think there's too much else to report. Luckily, I'm, I'm fine and dandy, haha. <laughs> um, I will quickly say though, Next month, start of November, I will be going away for about a week. I'll be visiting my family, so there might be another uh, break with the video uploads during that time. I haven't quite figured out a schedule just yet, but I just figured I'd bring it up and let you guys know. Other than that, yeah, I'm okay. I'm happy to say that I'm okay. And I'm very much looking forward to getting back into Blasphemous and Mass Effect. And, you know, Halloween is coming up too. So we're going to play some more spooky games, which is always, which is always fun. So yeah, that's my, that's my little update. I'm doing well and you can expect some videos coming up shortly. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.